So last time, in the discussion that I had, which I think I shared to you, if I did not uh, uh, hold the, the class with you, but in a reception, I recorded a video and I think I uploaded that somewhere and I gave you the link. So I, I do hope that you were able to watch that, guys. No? So last time we were talking about limits of trigonometric functions making use of mm, this formula no we have limit as x approaches zero of sine x over x is equal to zero another we have limit as x approaches zero i sorry this is equal to one equal to 1 and then we have limit okay as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine x all over x is equal to 0 and then also we were talking about in that video um Continuity. Continuity. Yeah. Continuity of a function. And when we say continuity of a function, uh, basically it means that you will able to draw the graph of that function without lifting your ball pair or pencil. So graphically, it looks like this, no? A continuous function might be like this one. Might be something like this. So there is no gap or hole. So meaning every point on the curve is connected to each other. And of course, the end, so this end, it has actually no end. no. So because the arrow points to the left and to the right or upward, downward without end. So that's what the arrow means. <coughs> so, and when you talk of continuity of a function, there are two uh, important continuities. And these are continuities at a number and continuity on an interval. Meaning continuity at a specific value of x. So again, we, can, we will be talking, we talk about Continuity, yeah. continuity at a number, at a number, and then the other one, continuity on an interval. So, continuity on an interval. Continuity of a function, of a function on an interval. On an interval, meaning collection of values. In case you have questions, you just, uh, and uh, there's no feature of raising hand here because this is free. If it, it is not free, Google Meet, there is a way for you to raise your hand. But I am recording this in OBS. So, again, on interval means collection of mm, values of x continuity at a number continuity of a function at a number let me ca just copy Copy, copy, control D. Continuity, let me have another, more space. In your other subject, how do they deliver the lecture? Do they write or they just read something on a PowerPoint? 
guys. And when you say continuity of a function of a number, there are three requirements, no? Number one, so there are three conditions to satisfy. So first, the function at a, at x equals a, is defined. This is the first, we're just summarizing what I had. Huh? So this is not a complete lecture. Mm, f of uh, limit uh, of f of x limit as x approaches a of f of x exists meaning it's a real number and then the third condition that is needed to be satisfied the limit of f of a x f of x as x approaches a must be equal to the function value at A. So these are the three criteria or requirements for a function to be what? To be, <coughs> um, to be continuous at a number, a specific, at a specific value. Okay? Um, continuity on an, on an interval talks about on a collection of values. It could be on an open interval, on an open interval, open interval. So, possible also to be on a closed interval. O yung mga subset nito, on a closed interval. O, o kaya yung mga on, on a subset, subset of, yan, of an open interval, of an open, an open interval, or closed interval. Meaning part only, closed interval. Okay? <coughs> but our concern is here. You can easily do the third one, this third. Where our focus is here. That this subset can easily be verified if you know the definition of this two. Okay? Um, what do we mean by continuity? of a function on an interval. So, because we talked already about continuity of a number. By the way, to recall also, so there is what we call types of continuity. Types of, three basic types of continuity. Discontinuity, I mean. Types of discontinuity. Discontinuity of a of a function at a number, at a number, at a value of x, that is at a value of x. Now, number one, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> number one, we have um, removable, removable, Discontinuity. I discussed this already in the video that I shared to you. Continuity. I shared with you. Continuity. Removable discontinuity. This is also called missing point. Missing point. Pero bihira nang gamitin yung word na missing point. So this word was mentioned in the book of Rainville and and Clyde, Clyde Love and um, Earl Rainville in, his, in their differential and integral calculus. An old book. So these two people, I think, they are already dead. Missing point discontinuity. They use that term. But um, the modern term being used, removable discontinuity. Because discontinuity 
can possibly can possibly be removed and make the function continuous. So para kung saan may pag-asa pa yan na magawa ng paraan. So basically pag removable discontinuity f f of a so let's say at a f of a may or may be defined may or may not be defined may not be defined defined so meaning it's all right for the function to be defined or it can it's all right not to be defined what is important the limit at as x approaches a of f of x exists nag exist dapat ang limit ng what? ng f of x as x approaches a. Okay? Yan. So that is one, one property that should be satisfied to be removable. Okay? <clears throat> And of course, here, mm, limit of f of x as x approaches a exists. But, of course, ang f of a not equal to limit as x approaches a of f of x. Hindi equal yung dalawa pero nag-exist ang limit. Kaya mga hindi equal sila, ay, <coughs> it's hard to, to teach pag mong katinan nila muna. Kapag ang f of a, of course, automatic not equal pag ang f of a not defined, no? Pero, ang f of a defined, pero hindi sila equal, no? So, yan ang, ang, ang property niya. So, graphically, it looks like this. Pag hindi defined ang function, pero ang limit na exist ang f of a, undefined, yan, undefined, so, ibig sabihin, your graph must be looking like this. So, we have this. Yan. Then, there is a hole. Kaya, missing point. Yan yung kanyang itsura. So, at x equals a, dito tayo interesado sa a. So, there is a hole. And if you look at the graph, the function is not defined. But the limit exists there. Okay? So, another possibility is that maaring defined ang function, yan, defined ang function, but, mm, but the, the limit, and the limit of course exists, but mm, as I said, defined ang function, but they are not equal, yung limit at yung function value. So, defined ang functions, I will be removing the an, yan, Defined, defined siya. Yan. Yan, f of a is defined. Kompletohin ko na. Is defined. Is, is defined. The other one, undefined. Is undefined. Yeah, is undefined. Okay? Pero yung pangalawa, ano daw ang sabi? Function is defined. So, may value yung function at A, pero hindi equal ang limit da sa function value. O, paano yung case na yon? Paano mangyayari? O, halimbawa, ito yung point ko. Yeah. So, maaring yung function, yan, may function value here. Nakatapat yan sa A, pero notice that this point is not on the whole. At ito yung function value. Okay? Yan. This is f of a. Yan. f of a. Okay? Kanina dito ang f of a undefined. O wala siyang function value. <coughs> function value nag-exist sa a. Pero ang, li ang limit nag-exist pero hindi sila equal. Okay? So that's for... Sinasummarize lang natin that is not formal ha? I defined to you the formal, uh, I gave to you already the formal definition in the video that I shared with you. And then the second one, infinite, yan. Infinite 
uh, I'm, the numbering is not important. Ha? I'm not really sure kung infinite yung second ko or yung, yung jump. Infinite or asymptotic. Yung iba, asymptotic. 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 Discontinuity. O alam niya naman pag, dis, pag asymptotic. Con discon. The behavior, no? Continuity. Yan. May mga book, infinite, pero bira yung word na asymptotic. Actually, sa UP ko nga lang nakita to eh. Na they are using such term. So, yan. Um, basically, pag sinabing asymptotic or infinite discontinuity, ang, ang function value, yan, function value, again, may or may be defined, may or may not be, or may not be defined, may not be defined. Yan. So, maari nag-exist ang, ang value ng f of a, maaaring hindi. Pero, ang guaranteed, ang limit as x approaches a of f of x ay either yan, positive or negative infinity. Okay? <clears throat> so, pwedeng from the left, positive infinity. From the right, positive infinity. From the left, pwedeng positive infinity. From the left, negative infinity. So, ito yung mga possible case. So, una, we have a vertical line that will serve as an asymptote. No? A vertical asymptote. Yan. O, gawa muna tayo ng mga ganyan. Copy. Ctrl V, another one. Can you follow guys? Nakakasunod ba? Guys, medyo mabilis na tayo ngayon. Pag derivatives, mabilis na. <coughs> practice lang kayo ng practice. Mag-differentiate. Ito yung mga possibility. Guys, uh, maaring ganito ang case. Yan. Yan, maaaring gany ganyan ang case. Asymptotic, no? To that, uh, to that yellow. Ito yung x equals a, yung line na yan. x equals a, yan. x equals a. Okay? Yan, maaaring yung from the right, ay from the left, positive infinity. Pero from the right, the limit is negative infinity. Maring para silang negative infinity. Yan. Okay guys? Yan. Maari namang nag infinite ba baby? Parang yan. Maari namang uh, negative infinity from the left pero from the right, positive infinity. At ang function value, maaring define. Like for instance, pwede siyang defined here. Halimbawa, the function has a point here. Yan. Kita ba? O maaring dito, define siya. May function value. Yan. May function value. Ito yung f of a. Yan. Ito naman dito. Ito yung f of a. Pero hindi naman ibig sabihin sa first at fourth lang possible maging defined. Ha? Pwede ring sa set this second one and then in this third one. Okay? <coughs> Is that clear guys? Still alive guys? Guys. Yeah, That is basically what we mean by infinite discontinuity. And then the third one Number three, jump discontinuity. Jump. Or, yung ibang book, finite jump. Pi finite jump discontinuity. Or simply jump. 
discontinuity. Okay? So, anong kriteriya niya sa summarize ko na? So, ang mathematically, ang function has an, a jump or finite discontinuity kung ang function, again, ang function, uh, may or may be defined, may or may not be, may or may not be defined, again, may or may not be defined. So, in, in all cases, function may or may not be defined, no? Pero ang ating limit <coughs> nag -e exist both from the left and right. Limit as X approaches A. <coughs> Sorry. As X F of X as X approaches A from the left nag -e exists and also, ang limit as x approaches a from the right of f of x nag -e exist din. But ang problem natin, hindi sila equal. But limit as x approaches a of f of x does not exist. So, which means, so, which implies na ang ibig sabihin ang limit as x approaches a of f of x so from the left not equal saan sa limit as x approaches a from the right nag exist sila parehas ang left and right pero hindi equal so, therefore, ang totality, ang limit ng f of x does not exist. <coughs> okay? So, yan. So, graphically, guys, yan. Ito, mathematical, no? Paano naman siya, na, paano nyo malalaman jump uh, graphically? So, this is how, oh, copyin ko muna yan para, uh, I will ilang bang possible cases o oh, tingnan natin kung ma-illustrate ko lang just so maaring like this yan yan maaring define ang function so sa tapat niya butas no kasi to be function dapat for every input one output lang o maaring walang output o kay lang walang output dito for that part. O yan. From the left and right, nag-exist ang limit. Left, nag-exist ang limit. From the right, nag-exist din. From the left, okay. Okay? So, yan. No, may limit siya dyan. May limit din dito. Pero, hindi equal yung limit niyan. So, dito, ang F of, ang F of A, okay, no? Define. Is defined. A is defined. So, maari namang hindi sila defined. I mean, the function is not defined. O yan, hindi defined. At x equals A. Pero nag -e exist ang limit niyan, both from the left and from the right. Hindi nga lang equal. Okay, guys? Yan. So, maring define siya. Dito naman may hole. Yan, dito wala sa kabila. Is that clear, guys? Yan. That is continuity. Okay, guys. Hindi naman nasagot itong mga to. Guys. Guys. Buhay pa ba? Okay. <coughs> now. Let me give you an example of, of this, no? Yan. Let us have uh, may picture dito. Eh. I'll be showing to you a picture. I'm going to sleep. Nakikita nyo ba yung picture? Hindi. Ako lang nakakakita. Oo, ako nga lang nakakakita. 
Yan. At tingnan ko kung kakasya. Hindi siya kasya. Next slide na tayo. Yan. Ang instruction here, I will just snip the instruction para faster, no? Ito yung instruction. No, kakopyin ko na lang. Copy. Katinan na lang muna ko. Ang hirap mag ano. I will make it white. Yan. Parang kay Remy. Re, ano yun? Willie Rebilliam eh. White Lux. Ano yun? White Lux White. Naku, ang katinan. Mauubo na naman ako. <coughs> Sorry. Panahon yata ngayon yan. Uso, no? Kaya ba? Hindi, hindi sinisipon? Guys? O, oh, nakikita nyo? Nakikita nyo yung graph, guys? Yan. Okay. Yan. Pero ito yung sasagutin natin, no? Value of X, yan. Ililista nyo ang value ng X. Ano sabi? For the function F, ito yung function F, defined by this graph, at what values of X is F discontinuous? Identify the type of discontinuity occurring at each of these values of X. Saan may problem ay itong function na ito? Saan siya hindi tuloy-tuloy? Ililista nyo yung mga value yon So, value of x. Uh, ayaw sumulat. Wala ng tinta. Yan, value of x. Yan. At which f, at which f is what is discontinuous. Yan. Ano-ano yun? Matapos, pag na-identify nyo yung value ng x, identify nyo yung type ng discontinuity. Type of discontinuity involved. Tatlo lang naman yun. Okay? Continuity. <coughs> Ay ko, kate, nalamunan ko. Sorry. <coughs> Oh, number one, guys. Ano yung nakikita nyo? From left to right muna tayo. One, two, three. Mga ilang ba yan? Uh, in my list, lim, lima. Lima yan, guys. O oh, ano-ano yun, guys? From the left, we have negative five. Yan yung value ng x. So, ano pa? Negative 3. Kasi butas doon, no? And then, pagdating sa positive 1, naputol. Ayan. Positive 1. And then, i-move ko tong type. Ayan. Lagay ko na lang dito. Para pagkasya na lang natin yung lima dito. Ayan. I will just copy this and repeat this heading. So, somewhere here. Number four. Number four. Oh, give me one, guys. Another two. Yung, yung number four. Ano yung number four? Pang-apat. Guys. <coughs> what value? Guys. Six. What else? Seven, huh? Seven. Okay. 7. By the way, itong itong vertical line na katapat sa 7, medyo hindi lang accurate yung ano ha. Yung aking na snip. Tingnan ko nga bakit kaya uh, medyo tingnan ko nga. Dapat uh, hindi na siya na e-edit dito sa given. Tingnan ko kung hindi na naka-ano yata. Naka-fix na. 
Hindi na siya ma-edit. Ayaw. Ayaw na. Hindi na magalaw. Ayan, nagalaw ko ng konti. I think kung ito yung i-slip ko, much better. I-slip ko ulit. Pag sinare ko yung video nito, makikita niyo yung ginagawa ko. Yan. Kaya lang now, kasi nasa other ano kayo? Window. Ito. Yan. Okay guys? Yan. <coughs> Yan. So, nakatapat na. What type of discontinuity is involved at x equals negative 5? Anyone, guys? Negative 5. Obviously, no? Anong yan? Infinite. Yan. Infinite. What about at negative 3? Removable. Removable. Or missing point, no? Then at 1, jump. Or finite jump. Num sa at x equals 6. Still removable. Although the function is defined there, no? Removable. But the function is defined at x equals negative 6. I mean at 6. What about 7? Infinite or asymptotic, no? Okay now? Is it clear now about continuity at a number? And the three types of discontinuity? Okay? Yan. So, um, siguro sa teko, nasa dulo agad ba ito? So, ba tayo nagsimula? Nagsimula pala tayo nasa dulo. Imumog ko lang ito ha. Nasa dulong-dulo pala tayo. Yan. Kaya pala no more slides. Okay? Yan. That's it. So, that's what we mean by, let me see if I still have another ex mm. Oh, what about this? So, let us have this problem. Ayan. So, find and classify the discontinuity of this function. Whole uh, white. Ayan. Parang lax white. Uh, find and classify the points of discontinuity that is the values of x at which the function is let me see this is the function guys uh -huh. here is the function Ay? wait a minute na Tingnan ko kung may face ko ito. Yan. Kaya lang problema ko. O. Oh, equation. Paano gawin siyang puti? Home. Kaya lang maging puti siya. Yan. Okay. Ano to? O. Uh -huh. Tawag dito. <coughs> This means greatest integer to ha. Minus, the greatest integer ba sa equation, Microsoft equation? May nakikita ba kayong greatest integer here? Ito, parang meron siya. Copyin ko nga yun. Oho. Uh -huh. Ito, yan. Because this is much better that control X, shoot natin here. V. Yeah, I will erase this now. Ay, nawala. Again. Equation, greatest integer. X. X. Small lang. Yan. Okay. Uh, do you... Do you see the, the function, guys? Guys. Ayan. Ay, 
control si Masira. Mahirap pag live, no? Pero at least, para tayo nasa blackboard lang. Ina-adjust ko yung ano. Ayaw ko ma-adjust pa to. Hindi na. Ayaw na. Ito, what about this one? Tingnan ko ma-adjust ko to. Ay, yan. Okay. Ito. What about this? Oh, yan. Etong isa. Nana talagang yan na. Okay, yan. <coughs> so, this is the given function. I want to know the points of this continuity and I, I'm going to classify them. Kung uh, infinite, removable, jump, no? So, kaya lang naka-define siya by, by function, by equation. Kung wala nga yung drawing, how will you know? You need to, ha, to, to test, no? Okay? So, solution. Solution. Saan nakikita yung mga yan? Sa so, normally, you can see that sa function itself, tingnan nyo, here, undefined ang function saan, 1 minus x, all over x plus 1, yung first uh, equation defining the function on the interval uh, less than 1. <coughs> guys, less than 1. What are those values that you are going to input, guys? Negative point, I mean point 0.9, point 0.8, point 0.1, point 0.5, point 0.1, 0, at saka yung mga negative. Madadaanan natin yung negative 1, right? Okay, guys? So, it means, at what? Meron pa tayong discontinuity at what? At x equals isang value. Negative 1, no? Okay, guys? Kasi yung 1 minus x all over x plus 1, undefined siya sa negative 1. Ito yung possible discontinuity. I-check ngayon natin yung conditions. So, of course, ang f of a undefined, no? Ang f of negative 1, undefined. Yan, undefined. Tingnan natin yung limit. Is undefined. What about yung limit? Anong sabi sa limit, guys? Ang limit, yan, as x approaches negative 1, ng 1 minus x all over x plus 1, kasi at x equals negative 1 tayo eh. So, ang ilalim, nagsi 0. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, i-compute natin yung from the left and from the right. Limit as x approaches negative 1 from the left of 1 minus x all over x plus 1. O, mula sa left. Di ba nagsisiro yung ilalim? Pero yung ibabaw, hindi. Okay? So, yung, ila, yung ibabaw is going to be what? 2. 1 minus negative 1. The limit is 2 over going to be 0. But since you have x approaching negative 1 from the left, ano yung negative 1 from the left? Negative 1.2, negative, negative less than, uh, x less than negative 1 plus 1. So, going to be 0, pero true negative values. Therefore, this is negative infinity. Okay? Limit as x approaches uh, positive negative 1 from the right of 1 minus x all over x plus 1. This time, this is going to be 2 again, pero uh, pero going to be dahil true positive, I mean true, true values that is that are greater than negative 1. So, ayun yung negative 0 0.9, 0 0.8 plus 1 going to be 0, pero from the right. So, this is positive infinity. Since ang limit, negative infinity, positive infinity, combination. So, what does it mean? Our conclusion, mm, x equals what? x equals negative 1 is what point of discontinuity, guys? <clears throat> guys, Guys, is 
guys so it is an infinite discontinuity or we say that f has an infinite discontinuity at x equals so f has an infinite discontinuity f has an infinite yeah, discontinuity at x equals na ko ang katina naman ang lalamunan ko <coughs> at x equals negative 1 okay so an x equals negative 1 is a point of discontinuity is a point of infinite discontinuity oh what else guys san pa may possible point of discontinuity at i-verify natin yon guys anyone what about at 1? Check natin at 1. Kasi doon doon nagduktong eh, doon naghiwalay yung function eh. Ito dito, tsaka dito. Tingnan natin kung parehas ang ano niyan, kung connected sila. Pag hindi connected, possible na point of discontinuity and check natin. F of net up F of 1. Anong value ng F of 1, guys? San ba pasok ang F of 1? Sa first equation or sa middle equation? Uh, sa middle equation guys 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 o wala so f of 1 is undefined na yan it is undefined okay is undefined so hindi siya defined okay yan. may possibility na whole yan let's check tingnan natin ang limit niya Limit as x approaches uh, on 1 from the from the left. From the left, so here. So, 1 minus x all over 1 plus x. Ano ang limit ng denominator? Going to be 2. Ang limit ng numerator? Going to be 0. Am I right, guys? So, and that is equal to 0. What about limit from the right? So, limit from the right. We are evaluating the limit at x equals 1. Kaya lang, magkahiwalay ang left and right niya. So, from the right, magkaibang definition ng, ng function. <coughs> Value sa interval. So, from the right, o oh, ano naman ang gagamitin nating function? Value, yung x minus greatest integer of x. Mm. Uh, what is, what do you think is the limit, guys? Anyone, guys? Hmm, anong limit niyan? So, di ba nakafix ang greatest integer sa certain interval na close sa 1? So, limit, let us remove the greatest integer symbol kasi close naman sa 1 ang gusto natin. Eh. X approaches 1 from the right. So, x minus. Ano yung right ng 1? 1.1, 1.2. Greatest integer ng 1.1, 1.2 is 1. Am I right, guys? Yan. So, ano nang limit niyan? 0. Tama ba, guys? Guys. Oh, is it discontinuous at x equals 1? Guys, is it discontinuous at x equals 1. Nage-exist ba limit? Guys? Nage-exist ang limit as x approaches 1, no? Nang f of x. Oh, ng f of x. So, exists. And it is equal to 0. Oh, is it equal to the function value? But this is not equal to what? to f of 1. Therefore, sigurado tayong point of discontinuity ang x equals 1. Pero from the left and from the right, nag-exist ang limit, undefined, I mean, but not equal to the function value, pero nag-exist ang limit. So, anong conclusion natin? Hence, f as what? 
f has mm, an infinite, a jump, or a removable, a removable discontinuity. Ibig sabihin, butas yan. A removable, may pumapasok pa rin hanggang ngayon. Iba itong mga batang to. Removable discontinuity. Yan. At what? At x equals 1. Okay? <coughs> Yan. Yan yung mga point of discontinuity. Next. Saan pa may possible? Sa 2. Meron pa ba? Wala na rito, no? Between 1 and 2, wala na. Sa 2 na lang, doon sa end point. Kasi tuloy-tuloy na ang graph nito, x minus greatest integer ng x, to, from, uh, sa greater than 1 to less than 2. Check natin yung sa end point. So, at x equals what? At x equals 2. O, o di, tingnan natin ang f of 2. I, define ba ang f of 2? Yes, na? So, dito siya sa point form na so, that is 2 minus, anong greatest integer ng 2, children? 2 pa rin, no? So, it is equal to 0. Okay, guys? Yan. What about yung limit as x approaches 2? Yan. So, as x approaches 2, kaya lang, may left and right uli yan. O, check muna natin yung left. Ang left, ang equation is x minus, ang function natin is defined by x minus greatest integer of x. Yan. And, this is equal to, from the left, oh, guys, limit, as x approaches 2, from the left, ano yung mga nasa left? 1.9. So, x minus 1.9, o ano, guys, ang um, pag less than 2, Pero, hindi lalampas ng, ng below 1. So, anong greatest integer nun? 1 to less than 1.2. 1, na? No? Okay? So, this is equal to 2 minus 1. So, the limit is 1. So, then, what about from the right? From the right. O... Ang function natin is 4 times the absolute value of x minus 3. And that is equal to, to the right ng 2, so ang limit ng x minus 3 is, pero naka-absolute value, so 2 minus 3. And that is equal to what? To 4. That is equal to 4. So, ang limit from the left, limit from the right, they both exist, but not equal. So, so it means, the limit as x approaches 2 of absolute value of x does not exist. Pero nag exist to, no? Yung f of x does not exist. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, Ano yan guys? nag exist ang left and right but not equal. So, therefore, anong ibig sabihin yan guys? <coughs> ha? Huh? Actually, it, uh, yung function value will not affect the the, the condition. No? Basta ang malagad, the, they are not equal from left to right yung limit. So, anong conclusion natin guys? F has a jump discontinuity. O yan. It, see, without a picture, but we can still uh, determine whether it is a jump, removable, or infinite. Has a jump discontinuity. Meron pa bang possible, guys? Discontinuity. Point of discontinuity. Sa so, 3. Teka, at, ano to? At, x equals 2. So, tingnan na ako, hindi natin makikita yung function. At x equals 3. Check natin sa x equals 3. Oh. Let's copy the function. Copy natin yung function. Snip ko na lang. Snip ko. 
para may guide tayo. Kasi once we don't see the function, it will really, it will be hard for us to yan. <coughs> At x equals 3 guys. <coughs> At x equals 3. What is the function value? F of 3. What equation? So, greater than 2 yon. So, in the third um, equation defining the function. Huh? So, that is 4 times the absolute value of 3 minus 3. So, and that is equal to 0. What about the limit? Limit. Nasa lampas na ng 2 yun. Huh? So, wala nang pakialam yung middle and first equation def First, middle and first equations defining the function. So, doon na lang tayo sa x approaching 3 concentrated sa function na to. So, we have 4 absolute value of x minus 3. Oh, when x approaches 3, so this is 4 times 0 pa rin. No? Ang limit. So, that is 0. Oh, equal ang function value sa limit. So, therefore, oh, ang f of 3 ay equal sa function value, I mean sa limit of f of x as x approaches 3. So, we conclude that f is what? I mean x equals 3 is what, guys? x equals 3 ba o 2? Ang tinetest, ah, sa 3. Oh, guys, it's not. So, it is continuous there. F is continuous. Wala na. F is continuous. And wala nang problema. O, continuous on what? I mean at. Continuous at. X equals 3. Okay? Wala na. Tatlo lang. Okay, guys? O, may question pa, guys? Guys. Okay. So, we now talk about, uh, let us have another problem. I mean, let's now talk about continuity on an interval. Doon na tayo sa continuity on an interval. Continuity yan, on an interval or of f. When I say f, I mean that is a function, na f on an interval. On an interval. Oh, let's define number one. So, number one, we have continuity on an open interval. Continuity of F on an open interval an open interval yeah. a function let's call it f yeah. a function f is said to be yeah. is said to be continuous continuous on an open interval AB. So that is how we write open interval. On, ha? not in, not at. On an op, on. We use the word on. On an open interval or kaya over, over an interval. On an open interval AB, if mm, F is continuous, is continuous yeah. at every yeah. at every mm, at every number at every number x that is in the interval AB. Okay? Kapag daw ang function na f, wala siyang problema wala siyang na-encounter na point of discontinuity sa loob, sa loob ng AB ha, not at A, not at B sa loob. Kung yet, let's say, 3 to 5 yan, sa 
sa 3.1, 3.2, sa 4, hanggang 4.9, 4.999. Sa mga baling yon walang problem. Continuous at every number yung function sa bawat point sa loob. F is continuous on this interval. Okay? Graphically, this is how. So, this is how it, <coughs> it looks like. Y Let's say this is my uh, X from here X equals A and this is my B So and the graph is something like this Yan mula dyan, buta sa dulo Pero I can draw the graph hanggang sa dulo pero butas din sa dulo so this is how it looks like notice that the graph has no uh, problem from left to right except at the end points okay? as long as mm, walang problema inside it is continuous on the collection of values of x from a to b pero I mean inside a and b okay? continuity on an open interval so what about Number two, continuity yan, on a closed interval. Continuity <coughs> on a closed interval. Continuity of F on a closed interval. On a close interval. <coughs> a function f is continuous. Yeah. Is said to be continuous to be continuous on a closed interval AB that is how we write closed interval if it is number one if it is continuous if it is continuous, dito na lang natin write yung the word continuous. Continuous on, yan, yung on pwede na rin here, on the open interval AB, second, it is continuous on This interval, it is continuous on this interval. I sorry. And and is continuous on the open interval AB and uh, continuous and uh, as well as continuous as well as continuous. As well as, dapat pala, ituloy ko na nga. Huwag ko na nga numberan. But, I am trying to shortcut it. Pero, hindi ko ma-shortcut. It is continuous on, on the open interval AB. And, as well as continuous, as well as, continuous continuous at at x equals a from the from the right and continuous at 
continuity at a number. Continuous at x equals b, pero from the left lang ang kung gusto natin. From the left. Yan, from the left. Okay? <coughs> continuous sa dulo, pero pagdating sa dulo na nasa left, etong a, continuous from the the right. Pagdating naman sa dulo sa right, continuous from the left. It's <coughs> it's all right ko pag may problema sa right ng B. Pag nasa left naman yung point sa left ng ng A. <coughs> Ito may discontinuous yun sa lalamunan ko. Mayroon discontinuity. Okay? So, my talking is halted because of discontinuity. Ito yung mga discontinuity sa buhay natin ng mga sakit. Na nadi-discontinuous. Yung happy life tuloy natin na halted, no? Na halt yan. What is what does this mean? Yan. So graphically, ito yung itsura niya, children. I-move ko nga a little kasi sa taas sayang yung space. Yan. Kopyahin ko ito, graph. Yan. Copy. V. Then, put, let me put it here. Hindi kasya. Kasyahin natin. Yan. This time, uh, ganito ang itsura niya. Lalagyan ko ngayon ng laman to. Hindi na siya ngayon. Butas. Yung end point niya is now okay, no? May end point. Defined na sa end point. Okay? <clears throat> so, look at the the point at A. So, it is continuous from the left. Pagdating naman sa B, con continuous from the right. From the, I mean, itong at A equals, so, ulit, at X equals A, dito sa left na to, left end point, continuous from the right. Sa right end point, continuous from the left. So, yan. And it is now continuous on the open interval. So, meaning, I can draw it from end point to end point without lifting my ball pen or pencil. So, yan yung ibig sabihin ng continuity on a closed interval. So, let's see. I'm going to draw a graph. Let, let's check. Then, you are going to determine if true or false. Kung, kung true or false, ha? Hirap mag, mag straight line. X. Yan. Okay. Let me draw a graph. Medyo ka pala ko ngayon. Aha. Uh -huh. I have this graph. Yan. Yan. Let me have it open there. And I want it to be later. I will be putting value. And then, I'm going to draw a vertical asymptote here. Yan. But from the right, I want it to be like this. Like this, yeah, like this. All it. I'm going to draw it like this. Yeah. But once reaching this point, I want it to be pointed there. And then, I'm going down. And then, Oh. Then, like here, and then, uh huh, and then I want it to be oh, here. Okay, uh, let me. Yeah. So, this graph. So, let's say this is the graph of F. So, this is the function. 
No? <clears throat> I you answer it true or false. True or false. Are they ready, children? Huh? I'll be calling you. Okay? Yeah. True or false. Is it continuous? Yan. Ito yung mga tanong. Is, is F continuous on? Continuous number one. Yes or no? Actually, ayo dapat walang s is kasi pag is yes or no so i will just have f is continuous f is conti is continuous ay gusto ko na mag face to face hirap pag ganto yan f is continuous on yan Lagyan muna natin ng value, guys. Ito ay, let's say, yan yung mga value. Ito ay, let's say, okay. Yan. Yan. Tignan natin. Let's say this is x equals negative 2. This is negative 4. This is negative 6. This is positive uh, 2. This is positive 4. Yan, that is positive 4. This is um, 4, 6. This is 7. Yan. And this is 7. This is 7, 8. Let's say this is 8. This is 9. Okay. 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Yan mga value niya. Is, uh, F is continuous on negative infinity. Yan. To, let's say, uh, negative 2. Yan. Open there. True or false? Guys, on negative infinity to positive 2. Mm. On negative infinity to positive 4. Four on negative infinity to positive four. Pero open. Five on, let's say, four to, to seven. Six on four to seven. On 4 to 7. Oh, yan. 8. On 7 to 9. <coughs> 9. <coughs> At x equals negative 2. Number 10. At, uh, okay guys. Mamili na ng sasagutan. Ha? Huh? At, uh, X equals 4. 11. At, uh, X equals 2. 12 at x equals 7. 13 at 
x equals negative 4. O yan. <coughs> Anyone? O guys. Guys. Nabawasan na tayo. O Jeremy. Mukhang ang saya ng picture mo. Jeremy, John, Maria, Brent, Brian, Brian Nilsson, John Paulo. O, tumingin kayo ng mga gusto niyo sagutin. Libre, Astibe, Suba, Belia, Juan Capistrano, Aguam, Di Fiesta. Okay, o, choose now, guys. O, number one. O, anyone? True or false? Guys, continuous on, pag on, interval, pag at, number. Continuous on, negative infinity to negative 2. Open yan ha, true. No, hindi naman natin sinali yung negative 2. Negative infinity to 2, false. Why false? Because dun pumalya sa 2. No? Oo, oo. Lumampas tayo eh. Bakit hindi nag to? Okay sa 2. Pero ang problema, lumampas tayo, no? Ang daming nadaanan, no? Negative 2. Di ba nasa loobing negative 2? Hindi siya continuous on negative infinity, pababayan, negative. Hanggang dito, may naputol, oh. Merong, merong problem sa negative 2. Saan ang problem sa number 2? Sa negative 2. O, oh, is it continuous on negative infinity to 4? Including 4. False. Bakit false? Because the, sa 4 dito. Okay? Di ba butas siya doon? Hindi siya continuous doon? Hindi siya continuous from the right? I mean from the left ng 4? Kahit actually from the, from the left, hindi siya from the right, hindi siya continuous. Negative infinity to 4. Yes, yan. Continuous siya dyan. Negative infinity to oh, 4 to 7. Between 4 to 7. True. Between 4 to 7, including 4, but not 7. False. Oh, 4 to including 7. False. 7 to 9, including 7. Guys, number 8. True or false? True. On yan eh, on. Can I trace the graph from 7, x, x equals 7 to less than 9? Yes. Pag nasa left, kailangan lang makapunta ako from the right. Doon sa point na yon. Pag nasa dulo naman na right, kailangan makapunta ako doon from the left. Pero hindi, kasi butas siya sa, yan o, kaya automatic hindi. Okay. O number 9, is it continuous at x equals negative 2? False. Continuity at a number na to ha. At x equals 4? False. At x equals 2? Guys. At x equals 2. True, no? Continuous. Sa 7, false. Jump yan eh. Sa, sa negative 2, kombinasyon niya ng, ng jump and infinite. No? Di ba tumalon? Kaya, uh, tumalon? Kaya lang, infinite sa kanan. No? Actually, whole pala. Removable at saka infinite. Ang jump magkatapat. Hindi naman sila magkatapat. Eh. Sa from the left, whole. Meaning removable. Pero from the right, infinite. Sa negative 2. Sa so, number 13, at x equals negative 4. Guys. Guys. True or false? <coughs> false. Hindi siya continuous sa negative 4. Ay, true pala. Sorry. <laughs> joke lang. Sometimes you have to joke. No? It's true. Ito pala yun. Okay. So, it's true, no? O, correct ka, iho, correct. O, naintindihan na, guys? Yan yung continuity. Okay na? O, last example for continuity, derivative na tayo. Kailangan natin matapos na yung mga derivative, derivative. 
Oh, this is the problem. Copy. Oh, let me have this. Yan. And let me put it as white. Um, home white. Para lang lux and lux white. Ni really really yummy. Kakatawa naman din yung programa. Kahit medyo, kumisa nagbastas ng konti si Revy Bilyami, pero patulungin naman, no? Pero kumisan may pagkabastas ng konti lang naman. And, hindi nakapipigil. O, number one. Number one. Yan. Determine the largest interval on which each of the following functions is continuous. Largest interval. Ka, o kaya, union of interval siya, eh. Ang unang function natin ay x squared plus 1. f of x is equal to x squared plus 1. Yan. <coughs> okay, guys? Asa na ba yung, function, yung equation natin? Ito. Yan. Later, pili tayo dyan. O, determine the largest interval on which on on which the following functions is continuous. So, f is continuous where? Is there a problem for that f every time I put value to x? Will there be a problem? What do you think? Huh? None. So, because it is a polynomial, polynomial is continuous at every x and it is continuous on the, the set of real numbers. Therefore, the largest interval for which it is continuous, is what? One largest interval for which it is continuous. Anong sagot? Ha? Huh? Negative infinity to, to positive infinity. O number two, f of x is equal to, let's say, x over x my x squared minus 1. O yan. Saan siya may problem? Sa negative 1, positive 1, no? So, it is continuous on its domain. So, ang largest interval niya na continuous siya, f is continuous. Ito, f is continuous. Is I ano lang natin, ha? Is Continuous. Yan. Kulang pa rin ang space. Okay na yan. On. Yan. Oh, what about here? F is continuous. Guys, where? On what interval or union of intervals? F is continuous. On what? On, <coughs> anong interval? Negative infinity to what? Hanggang negative 1. Union with negative 1 to 1. Union with 1 to positive infinity. Ang tinanggal lang natin yung kanyang <coughs> undefined values. Okay? Continuous na yan dyan. O, number 3. What about f of x is equal to is square root of 1 over is square root of 4 minus x. Hmm. Guys, and sa palagay nyo? Okay. So, Bawal siya sa 4, no? Automatic undefined siya sa 4, eh. Kaya, 4 minus x must be greater than 0. Okay? So, saan ngayon? Guys. So, 4 minus x greater than 0, dapat. So, meaning, ang 4 is greater than x. So, therefore, f is continuous where? f is continuous on 
Oh, what interval? On, guys, negative infinity to x is less than 4, eh? Ayan. Okay? O, oh, last, number 4. So, we have f of x is equal to, let's say, square root of x squared minus oh, 4 minus x squared. Ang domain nito, guys, ang domain niya is domain, ha? Not, not, uh, not continuity, pero domain. Domain is uh, ne, uh, in between yan, eh. In between. In between negative 2 to positive 2. Ang domain, no? Negative 2 to positive 2. Yan. So, F is continuous on its uh, domain, no? Yan. F is continuous, but not at every. Kung tinanong kayo, is it continuous at every number in the domain? No. Kasi at negative 2, it is not continuous at negative 2 and also at 2. Because at negative 2, ang, di, uh, ang limit hindi nag-exist from the left. So, ang 2 naman, hindi nag-exist ang limit from the right. Kaya hindi siya continuity at x equals negative 2 and at x equals 2. F is continuous on yan, negative 2 to 2. Kasi I can draw the graph from negative 2 to 2. Okay guys? Kasi sa negative 2, continuous siya from the right. Sa 2 naman, continuous from the left. Kaya continuous on the closed interval negative 2 to 2. Is it continuous on the open? Of course, yes. So, automatic sa subset continuous. Okay? Lagay natin. Ayan. Remark. Ayan. Remark. If f, which is a function, if f is continuous, ano yung f natin function, ha? If f is continuous on on an interval on an interval i on an interval i then it is continuous it is continuous continuous on any subset on any subset of i Basta subset of i, <coughs> it is continuous also. Okay? O, no more question with that, guys. So, we now move to, guys, derivative. Guys, no more? Now, to be able to define derivative, we need the concept of continuity. That's why we discuss continuity. And to define this, I mean, continuity, we need the concept of limit. That's why we had limits. And of course, to define limits, we need functions. That's why functions are important. No? So, derivative of functions. We are now on derivatives of functions. And derivatives. Yeah. Oh, derivative of a function of a function now how do we define derivative of a function actually calculus um, when it wasn't discovered yet people before or mathematicians before Phase two, two types of um, treat actually, uh, uh, two types of major problems. Generally, two types yan. Eh. Tangent problem and area problem. <coughs> okay? Tangent problem and area problem. The tangent problem okay, and area problem. And area problem. 
an area problem. And these two types of problems, um, ang concern is about limit. Then this uh, uh, involves, these problems both involve, both involve, yan, the concept of limit. Concept of limit. Okay? We're going to um, define derivative using the tangent problem. Okay? Yeah. Using the tangent problem. Consider, let us consider. Yeah. So, we now have derivative, no? So, our title, derivative of a function. So, our goal is to define this, derivative of a function. That's our goal. Guys, still alive? So, let's say you were given, given a function, a continuous function. A continuous function. So, a continuous function. Meaning, the graph does not have any problem that we discussed. No? Yung mga discontinuity. Okay? Tingnan natin kung mayroong pumasok. Kala ko may pumasok. May nag-ano lang pala. Okay. Given a continuous function, y equals f of x. So, that's my function. So, the graph of this, so let's consider the graph. This is the graph, guys. I will be drawing, sketching the graph. So, let me draw the graph. Y-axis. I can't draw up a straight. It's hard to draw a straight line. Is it straight? Parang hindi nang straight. Lalo nang hindi naging straight. Bahala na. Oh, that's okay. X-axis. <coughs> Yan. So, let's say the graph of this function is this, no? I'm going to draw the graph of that function. Uh, let me have a beautiful graph. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's say this is the graph of the function. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, that's the graph of the function. Yeah. And I have a particular x here, or arbitrary x I mean. Let this be the arbitrary x. Okay? If this x moves um, by the amount delta x, so this value, let's say, this is the amount. Okay? So this is x plus delta x. If this moves by what amount? Delta x. So, this is delta x. Yan. Uh, let me have it here. This is delta x by that amount. Meaning, that's the change. The difference between x and x plus delta x. So, if I add delta x to x, I will get a point on the x-axis, x plus delta x. That will be my value now of x. So, that point corresponds here, guys. Oh, guys, still alive, ha? Guys. Guys. X plus delta X corresponds here. Now, if this is X, mm, there is a corresponding arbitrary value also of the function. Okay, guys? Ito yon. Okay? Yeah. 
Tama ba? Nakatapat. So this is my f of x. Or my y. My y, no? And here, this is y plus delta y, the corresponding value. <coughs> okay? So meaning this point, this point, p, if this is my p, point p, let's say this is point p, this is point q, okay? point p, and my new point is point q. Point Q has coordinates X, then X plus delta X, I mean. And the corresponding value, ito yung F of X plus delta X, which is ito yung Y, ito yung Y plus delta Y, Y plus delta Y. If my value of X is X plus delta X, you replace X by X plus delta X, that is my new Y value, you know? Okay? So, meaning, if x change, changes by the amount delta x, y will change by this amount delta y, no? This is the, the amount that the value of y will change, no? Will change by that amount. Let me draw uh, this. Uh, yan. Let us have this. Draw a line parallel to the x-axis. Draw a line parallel to the y-axis. Containing P and Q respectively. So we form a right triangle. Okay? So from that right triangle, we say that, children, this is delta y. And this is delta x, guys. Am I right, children? Guys, if I'm going to, guys, hindi na mo nasagot sila. Guys. Okay, guys. Wala na. Wala na silang bat. Low bat na sila. O kaya, naghihingalo na yung data nila. So, I can draw a line connecting or passing through these two points. Tawagin natin silang, ano bang maganda? Itong pink na lang na to. Yan. We call this line, guys, secant line. Okay, guys? What line is this, guys? So, that is secant line. Secant line. Okay? <coughs> The slope of that secant line, guys, the slope of that secant line, yan, the slope of secant line, secant line, and that secant line is the line PQ. Okay? So, let's call that M PQ. What's the slope, guys? Hmm. What's the slope, guys? Delta Y over, guys, delta X. Actually, that is the difference, hmm, which is the same as what? F of X plus delta X. Yan, that is my, my Y value sa Q, minus Y value sa P, and that P, ang P natin guys ay X, Y. Minus Y. But what is Y? F of X. All over Delta X. Okay? Over Delta X. The difference between X plus Delta X and X. So that is Delta X. Ang tawag dito, children, is slope of what? Of secant line. Tinatawag din tong difference quotient. Yan. Difference quotient. Difference quotient. Later, 
we will be getting something from this. Nagtataka kayo yung ginagawa natin. We are trying to get something out of this. Ang ating goal is to find the tangent to this point P. Okay? Now, how to get that tangent at this point P? Of course, ang daling i-drawing. Kaya lang, how will you know the slope of the tangent at P? Alam natin ang slope ng, ng what? Ng secant line. Delta Y over Delta X. What about the, the this line? Um, gagawin kung anong kulay niyan. Ito. O, tingnan natin kung yung yellow. Okay. Gawa tayo ng tangent line at P. Ang gusto nating alamin is the slope. How to measure the slope of the tangent line at P. Yan, tangent na ba yan? Yan ba? Ay, nawala. Ay, <coughs> naka. Pag nahuli-huli ko itong impacto sa lalamunan ko ito, paiinitin ko ito sa ano? Saan ba yun? Dun sa kawali, ay sa lutuan ng matigok siya. Yan. Ito yung tangent line at P. Yan. Yan. Okay guys, yan. Medyo kapalad nga natin. Gawa natin, yan. Ala, gumalaw tuloy. Yan. Ito yung tangent line at P. Okay guys, yan. What is this guys? Tangent line at P. Yan. Tangent line. Anong gusto natin sa tangent line? Mahanap natin ang slope niyan. But ang problem is, hmm, wala na siyang change in y over change in x. Kasi narito na siya, unlike yung secant line. So, it means, if we are going to what? Uh, to let q moves along the curve, if you let q move along the curve, so, let q Uh, um, let Q move towards what? Towards P. Point P. Let point U moves toward let point P moved towards P. Okay? If that happens, what will happen to the second line? Let's say your Q goes here. So this is now your secant line. Okay? So this is now the new secant line. And that is the new secant line. Kung nag-move pa dito, ito na yung bagong secant line. Okay? So, that is the, the new secant line. And so on. You notice that as this Q moves, toward, moves towards P, yung pink, which is now the, the white one, is approaching yellow. Yan. What's happening? Let's see the behavior. Guys, let Q moves towards P as Q moves towards P towards P anong nangyayari? the uh, secant line yan, secant line approaches it approaches the position yan, approaches the position of the tangent line. Position of what? Of the tangent line. Okay? Yung white, narito na yung walk. Yung point, so ito na yung tangent, ay secant line. Pag narito na yung point, ito na yung secant. As the point, hmm, Q moves towards P, di lumalapit na lumalapit. Yung line na 
na pink na ngayon ay white is moving towards what? Towards the line or approaching towards the line. What? So, approaching towards the line. Yellow. Okay? So, it means, it means, it means, uh, Secant line, secant, I mean tangent line, yan, tangent line, it means tangent line is the limiting position. Is the limiting position. Limiting position of what, guys? Limiting position of secant line. Secant line. Okay? Yan, secant line. So, <clears throat> and this means that delta x is approaching actually zero. Kapag ang point Q, guys, lumalapit ng lumalapit sa sa P, anong yayayari sa ito, ito na, ito na ngayon yung right triangle. Lumiliit ng lumiliit yung delta x. Pag narito na yung point, the point is here, delta x is getting smaller and smaller as Q moves towards P. Okay? So in other words, delta x is approaching 0 as Q approaches P. Mathematically, mathematically, the slope is affected, the slope of the secant line. Mathematically, slope of the secant line, yan, slope of the secant line, slope of secant line, is approaching what? Approaching Mm. The slope of the tangent line. The slope of tangent line. Okay? Yeah. The slope of the tangent line. If M PQ is the slope of the tangent line, so it means M ito naman, slope, as M PQ is approaching M tangent. If M sub T is the slope of the tangent line, <coughs> then we have this, no? But what is MPQ? So that is F of X plus delta X minus F of X all over what? All over delta X is approaching what? Mm. Is approaching the slope of the tangent. Okay? Now, <laughs> now, that behavior is actually, ang slope, therefore, ng tangent is the limit of this, no? Yan. Yan. Is the limit, is the limit, <coughs> okay, so, the slope of the secant line approaches the slope of the tangent line, huh? As what? That is, as delta x approaches zero. Okay? So, in other words, as the limit of this quotient, yeah, difference quotient, yeah, if you take the limit of this, as delta x approaches 0, that gives us the slope of the tangent line. Okay? Now, uh, this is specific, but not all the time, y equals f of x means really y equals f of x. x here can be possibly time, but x can represent, can be, can be what? Can be time, can be can be, let's say, number of people, number of people, 
etc. No? Yeah. I mean, yeah, etc. And why can be what? Can be, let's say, distance, can be distance, can be, can be population, if you have number of time, people, and so on. In other words, Y is neutral, no? Can represent any quantity together with X, okay? Now, to give uh, justice to other possible uh, representations of X and Y respectively, we will be calling this slope of the tangent line for its neutral name, derivative. So, let let us let let's give let's give this slope this slope a neutral name slope a neutral name a neutral name okay and eh, eh, that is yan anong name ang tinawag sa kanya derivative okay Yan. Derivative of what? Derivative of y yan. with respect to yan. with respect to independent variable let's say x with respect to to x. Okay? So, and denoted by yan. denoted by yan. y prime or yeah. f prime of x so therefore we have or feathering derivative of y yan, yan yung mga notation <coughs> this means not quotient it means derivative of y with respect to x so hence we now define we can now define we can now define what derivative no derivative of a function of a function so what is now a derivative of a function so this is now the definition so derivative of yan, guys yan, derivative of a, a function Let y be equal to f of x. Let y and let y equals f of x be a continuous function. Be a continuous function. With that assumption, the derivative of yeah, the derivative, of course, you know already the interpretation. No? Graphically, it is the tangent line's slope. Not the tangent line. Huh? What we can measure about the tangent line is its slope. No, The derivative, the neutral name of that slope of the tangent. The derivative of f mm, with respect to with respect to to x yeah, denoted by yeah, denoted by mm, f prime of x is defined as yeah, is defined as limit yeah, let me put it in other color to emphasize. Limit yeah, of this difference quotient x plus delta x f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x as Delta x approaches zero. As delta x approaches zero. 
if this limit exists if this limit exists no so if of course if the limit of this difference quotient does not exist we say that the derivative does not exist or its slope there at that point on the curve does not exist <clears throat> especially if let's say your slope is i mean your tangent line is vertical yeah. um did you did you get that children guys guys on 20 na lang tayo kasama yata ako sa 20 guys did you get the definition so that's the derivative of a function okay so again that is a slope ha, of the tangent line but of course if your function represents let's say distance as a function of time when you draw the graph that is the actually velocity it is interpreted as velocity the the slope of the tangent line at the graph of distance function at a specific time is the velocity no rate of change of time i mean of distance with respect to time okay guys yeah. so mukhang mape-perfect nyo ang long quiz f prime of x yeah, is equal to Okay. So, again, interpretation, ha? interpretation of derivative, interpretation, Ayan. you can interpret it as what? Marami siyang interpretation first, but Ito yung kanyang general interpretation. Interpretation. Interpreti interpretation of derivative. Number one. And derivative as a slope as a slope not of the second line ha? as a slope of the tangent line at the point on the curve slope of the as a slope of the tangent line tangent line At a point on the curve. At a point on the curve. No? Yan. Second one, you can interpret it as rate of change. Derivative as a rate of change. Derivative as a rate instantaneous. Yan. Instant, as an inst instantaneous as an instantaneous inst, at an instant instant instantaneous so meaning how do you get the velocity at a point at a point a specific time at a specific time that's it a, a car is traveling or moving on a road what is its velocity at a specific time so that is instantaneous velocity so derivative can be interpreted as that. And generally, that is instantaneous rate of change. Instantaneous rate of change. Yeah. Instant, like for instance, rate of change of distance, instantaneous, for example, um, instantaneous rate of change of distance, instantaneous instantaneous rate rate or instantaneous change of distance 
instantaneous change. Continuous rate, continuous rate of change of distance relative to time to time <coughs> for instance if I have s as a function of time so the derivative of s with respect to time that is f prime of t is the instantaneous rate of change and that is considered velocity velocity so how fast is the, the the distance changing relative to time velocity okay instantaneous rate of change of current yeah. instantaneous instantaneous rate of current instantaneous rate rate of change rate of change ng current Current, ano ba pronounce? Meron ba gagaling mag-pronounce? Change of current, current, electric current, no? electric current, electric, yan, pag may physics kayo, current, with respect to, may physics ba kayo? With respect to, to, to time also. So, how do we write that? Derivative of I, with respect to time, yan. Okay? <coughs> yeah. So, it's equal to, for instance, if I have current as a function of time. So, F prime of time, yan. Whatever it is. Pag ini-introduce ang velocity, gumagamit ng limit. Kaya, Ibig sabihin, derivative yun. Kaya lang, may special name na. Yung derivative, may specific name na. Instead na derivative, it is now velocity, instantaneous rate of change of time with of, is of distance with respect to time. Is that clear, guys? Yan yung mga interpretation. Pero yung, as instantaneous rate of change, marami yun, of course, depende kung ano yung nag-change na yan. Um... So again, there are different notations used for derivatives, no? Notations used for derivatives. Notations. Notations for derivatives. Notations for derivatives. For derivative. So ito, ito yung mga other notations na most, most of the time na ginagamit. Again, ha? Ito yung mga kalimitan na ginagamit. Let's say, meron tayong binigay na function. Kapag ang function natin, given y equals f of x, anong commonly used notations for derivatives? Yan, y prime. Yan. What else? Derivative of y. Yan, with respect to x. Ang tawag dito, prime notation, itong napuna. We call this prime notation. Prime notation. Notation. Ito, Leibniz notation. Leibniz or Leibniz. Leibniz notation. Leibniz. Yan. Leibniz notation. Okay? Meron namang ganito. Let's say y, lalagyan ng dot on top. So, we call that fly spec notation. Fly spec. You know spec? Yung po wing? Fly spec notation. Marami yan. Itong kalimitan, y prime, derivative of y. F prime, no? F prime, yan. Yan, F prime. F prime, uh, ina-emphasize mo yung, yung independent, F prime of X. Okay? Yan. Pwede rin namang, eto prime notation din actually yan. Prime notation. O, 
derivative with respect to x, ito limits pa rin to. Of, of f of x, yan. Okay? Yan. Or, pwede nang as simply derivative of f of x with respect to yan, x. O, maraming notation. Ha? Yan ang mga commonly used <coughs> notation for derivative. Mayroong iba capital, no? Capital D. With respect to x of f of x. Yan. Okay, guys? Uh, any question, guys? Guys? Hmm. Methods of finding derivatives. Methods of finding derivatives. Ano ba naman itong leeg ko? Hindi ko mahuli-huli pa itong impact itong gumagalaw dito sa aking leeg. Pag nahuli ko to lilitunin ko yung mga yan. Methods of finding derivatives. Of finding derivatives. <coughs> Number one. Um, increment method. Increment. Yan. Increment method. Ito yung delta. Delta method. Increment method. Or, pwede rin namang directional. Limit definition method. Limit definition. Limit definition. Yan. Okay? And then the second one, yan, second one, we have differentiation formulas. Yan. Using formulas. Later, because it's not easy to use increment method, we're going to have differentiation kung kayo ay galing sa STEM. Yan. BS computer engineering kayo, I'm sure galing kayo sa STEM. Differentiation formulas method. Dito ang focus actually natin. Hindi tayo magtatagal sa increment method. Okay? So, let's begin with increment method. Okay, guys? Increment method. Increment. Are you familiar with this, guys? Increment or limit. Definition method. Limit definition. Pwede yung diretsyo na. Limit definition. Method. Guys. Okay, guys. Para naman wala akong kausap. Boring. So, this uses four step rule. Yan. Uses a four step rule. A four step rule for step for step a for step rule for step rule yan so what are these four step rules what are these four steps what is this four step rule four step rule so it means it consists of four steps um, step number one. Okay, given, by the way, given y equals f of x. Okay? <clears throat> Assuming it is differentiable. No? By the way, if a function has a derivative, yeah, if, pay more, Let's have a remark here. If the derivative of a function, if the derivative, if the derivative of a function exists, derivative of a function exists, 
then it is called exists at then then it is called what then it is it is said to be it is said to be differentiable it is said to be differentiable okay. differentiable okay <coughs> yeah. okay yeah. if um if um, y prime if f prime if f prime of x exists on a to b open interval by a b then it is differentiable it is differentiable on a b okay <coughs> normally we don't take differentiability on the close interval because uh, the derivative at the end point actually does not exist. No? Later we will be talking about left derivative and right derivative. And then, uh, let me have this before having this first step rule. If, If, uh, let's say, x equals a is a particular value of x, is a particular value of x, particular value of x, then the derivative of f at x equals a at a is given by the limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a all over x minus a. This is how we, do, how we define the derivative, the value of the derivative at a particular value of x. If this limit exists, Kasi medyo sinusurkat na natin because we have so much things to discuss. Medyo late tayo if this limit exists. Yeah. Ay, exists, exists. Yeah. So, what you will get here is a particular value instead of a function. If you have f prime of x, that is also a function. It's look in terms of function or instantaneous rate of change in, stem, in, in terms of function. <clears throat> Let's go back to finding derivative no? using increment method. So, I will be having discussion with other section, pero ang i-discuss ko naman sa kanila para makarami tayo will be the continuation of this. Kasi ito naman, they will ju just be watching this I will be sharing this to them. And then, kayo naman, isha-share ko naman sa inyo the discussion of mine to, the, to, the, to those sections. Okay? <clears throat> Puro mga derivatives yon. And then, all you have to do is to, to keep on watching them. Continuation lang din dito. So, step one. Step one. Guys. Why pa ba, guys? Guys. Step 1, yan. Replace, yan. Replace x by x plus delta x. And y by y plus delta y. So that's the first step, guys. 
Okay? So, ibig sabihin, we will have y plus delta y and that is equal to f of x plus delta x. Yan. After, from the given, we will come up with this equation. Step 2. Step 2, guys. Step 2. Let's put partition. Nasaan na ba yung ruler natin? Uh, gawa ko lang ng partition to ang problema. So, lum so this is lumampas. No? Nag Replace y x by x plus delta x and y by y plus delta y, no? Patapos, ito yung gagawin nyo. Ay! Select. Yan. Medyo ibababa ko lang ng konti. And then this, I will just move a little upward. Yan. Pati yung four step rule. Okay. <coughs> Ay! Where's my ruler? Then, I'm going to put the partition. Nasa na yung aking favorite kulay ng ito. Yan, ang ruler ko. O, step 2. Guys. O, buhay pa ba guys? O, guys. Hindi naman nakasasalita itong mga to. Hindi mo maintindihan kung Okay, guys, yan, ayaw na tuloy gumalaw. Gumalaw ka. Ayan, yan. Guys. Guys. Oh. 18 na lang tayo. Oh, mamaya, dalawa na lang. Hindi ko na mamalan. Titignan nyo ha, mamaya, dalawa na lang tayo. <coughs> 18 na lang ang buhay. Iba sumuko na. Naubos na ang data. Kawawa naman. O, step 2. Anong step 2, guys? So, after replacing y by x by x by x plus delta x and y by y plus delta, I solve for what? Solve for y, delta y. Then, solve for, yan, for delta y. O, what does this mean? Yung y... Delta Y, I mean, is equal to what? So, solve me yan. Ano ba yan? Delta Y is equal to, O, oh, from step 1, F of X plus Delta X minus Y. But what is Y, children of the Philippines? Ha? Ayan pa rin kung buhay pa. F of X plus Delta X minus what? Minus F of X. Okay, guys? Tapos, magpo-form kayo ng slope ng second line. Actually, di-divide nyo ng that is step number 3. Step number 3. Si Stephanie. Step 3. Yan. Divide. Yan. Divide. Each side by what? Each side by what? By delta x to form a difference equation. I mean difference quotient. Or that is slope ng secant line. Delta y over delta x. Patapos, you will get f of x plus delta x okay minus f of x all over delta x with assumption that this limit I mean this difference in delta x is not really zero just approaching and then get the limit of that 
step 4. Oh, this is the last step. Step 4. Ay. Ano ba yan? Hindi na kulay. Step 4. Anong step 4? Uh, get the limit, no? Take the limit. Take the limit of its side, no? As delta x approaches 0. Okay? So, how are we going to do that? And so, limit, yan. As delta x approaches 0, of this difference quotient, in step number 3, As delta x approaches 0, ha? Limit of this difference quotient as delta x approaches 0. And this is actually the derivative of y with respect to x or f prime of x. O yan na. If this limit exists, no? If this limit exists. Oh, that's it. Okay? Ayan. Let's mm, do that. <coughs> Using increment method, meaning applying the four step rule. Using increment method, find the derivative of the given function. When you say derivative of the given function, that is the derivative with respect to the independent variable, whatever it is. Normally x, no? But not all the time. Derivative of the given function. Number one. Let's say we're given y equals f of, my function is 4 minus 3x. Okay? <coughs> yeah. So, solution. So, that is our, ito daw yung ating y equals f of x. So, again, what is the first step, guys? You replace y by delta y and replace x by x plus delta x. Every x you replace by x plus delta x. So that is step number one. Second step, you are going to solve for delta y. That is 4 minus. Then at the same time, I'm going to expand, no? Then minus y. But what is my y, guys? Pwede naman diretso na you put immediately the value. Minus what? Minus y. What is my y? 4 minus 3x. Okay, guys? Then simplify. 4 minus 3x minus 3 delta x. Delta x means just one quantity yan ha? Change in x. And then, minus 4 plus 3x. From which we can cancel the following. Cancel out this na, no? Ito. At yung 4, negative 4. And then, we have negative 3 delta x. Okay? So, that is delta y. Then, the next step the third step is to divide by delta x each side. So, delta y over delta x equals negative 3 delta x divided by 
delta x. And when simplified, this is negative 3. Then after that, the last step is to what? Uh, the fourth step is to determine the limit of this as delta x approaches 0. And that gives us the derivative of y with respect to x or the y prime or the f prime of x. So that is the limit as delta x approaches 0 of what? Of difference quotient. Ito yon negative 3. Yeah. Yeah. But what's the limit of negative 3? That is constant, so negative 3. So that's the derivative. If you notice, this is actually the coefficient of x, which is negative 3. And we know that negative 3 in the equation of the line, that is what? If it is written in the form y equals mx plus b, so it is the slope of that line. If you have a line, and if you take a, a point on the line, what is the tangent line at that point? It's still that line. So, if you take another point, what is the tangent line at this point on the line? So, the same, no? So, in other words, the slope of the tangent line on a line, no? Uh, or at a line, same anywhere on the line. So, it means whatever the tangent line at the point on the line, that is also the slope of the tangent, no? Or the slope of the line. <coughs> okay? So the slope of the line is actually the slope of the tangent line at the point on the line. Kaya siya na rin yun. Okay, guys? Kaya pag tinanong kayo, what is that function whose um, derivative is the slope of the function itself? Or the graph of itself, the slope of the, gra the graph. So, it's, it's a linear function, okay? Yan. Non-vertical linear function. Or non-vertical. <coughs> Number two. Let's say I have y equals. By the way, another way to solve this or pwede rin namang directional, limit definition. Applying limit definition. Ito rin yun, kaya lang din directional. Limit definition. Ano nga limit definition natin, children? Ang derivative ng y with respect to x, ang derivative ng y with respect to x ay equal sa Limit yeah. as delta x approaches 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over, yeah. all over yeah. delta x. Yeah. Okay? So, itidiretso ko na. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan natin ang f of x. Ang f of x natin, guys, yun yung function for minus 3x. Kailangan ko ng f of x plus delta x. Ano yung f of x plus delta x? Papalta ko yung x ng x plus delta x. So, 4 minus 3, ay, 4 minus 3 times x plus delta x. Pag sinimplify ko to, this is 4 minus 3x minus 3 delta x. So, then, substitute ko lang sa derivative. O, limit. As delta x approaches 0, pwede yung ilat ng delta x na let's say h para hindi na kayo nag-delta delta, no? Gusto nyo. So, ano yung f of x plus delta x? 4 minus 3x Minus 3 delta x. Minus. Ano yung f of x? 4 minus 3x. Yan. All over. Diretso ko na. Diretso lang. Direct na lang. Delta x. Then evaluate this limit. O, simplify of course muna, no? 
as delta x approaches 0. Our variable is delta x. Kaya dapat lahat ng may, del may x, x alone, walang delta x na term, sa numerator ng difference quotient, mag-disappear. Dapat yan. So, 4 minus 4, 0. Then, negative 3x plus 3x, so 0. Ang matitira na lang is negative 3 delta x. Yan. Okay? So, cancelled. It is equal to the limit as delta x approaches 0 ng negative 3. And finally, the limit of that is negative 3. Uh, that's the derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, guys? Oh, ano gusto nyo? Guys, diretso na or for step rule? Ano na sagot? Para naman akong walang kausap dito. Ilan pa ba? How many? Oh, 18 pa rin. Kanina, umabot tayo ng 20 plus eh. 28 pa, 26. Oh, next. Number 2. Oh, f of x is equal to, let's say, uh, 2x squared minus x. Yan. Solution. First, ano gagamitin natin? Yung direct na lang? Yung direct na lang ha? Uh, what is f prime of x? Equals limit. Yan. As delta x approaches 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over yeah, delta x. Pero ano yung ating, what is our hmm, f of x plus delta x? Meaning, I will replace x by, evaluate f of x plus delta x. I will find, I will replace x by x plus delta x, all x here. So, 2 times x plus delta x, yan, quantity squared minus x plus delta x. Ayan. Ito pa lang yan. Minus f of x. O, yun yung given. Minus 2x squared. Magiging plus x. Kasi minus of this. All over delta x. Okay? So, that is equal to Limit as delta x approaches 0 or expand mm, to x squared plus this is 2x delta x. So times 2, 4x times delta x and then plus 2 times delta x quantity squared. Then minus x minus delta x minus 2x squared minus x. Ay, plus x, sorry. Plus x. By the way, dapat as a check, lahat ng terms na walang delta x dapat mag-disappear sa numerator. Pag hindi, meron kayong something wrong. You get a mistake, okay? So, dapat those terms without delta x must disappear. Dapat, do, those terms that will remain, yung may mga delta x lang. Pero may mga delta x na may nawawala din. That will disappear. But what is important, all the terms that will remain will have delta x. Kasi, you need to cancel it with delta x. So, 2x squared minus 2x squared. So, giving 0. So, no more this. Uh, x, negative x, positive x. And then, what else? No more? Oh, no more, I think. So, we have, mm, uh, what is the remaining in the numerator, guys? 4x delta x minus, I mean, plus 2 delta x quantity squared. Minus delta x. All over delta x. Yan. 
simplify we have limit as delta x approaches 0 of this so divide by delta x each term we have 4 x plus 2 delta x minus 1 and what is the limit of this our variable is delta x delta x approaches 0 so we get 4 x plus 0 times 2 2 times 0 minus 1 so what is now the the limit finally 4x plus negative 1. So this is now the derivative. <coughs> oh, do you have any question guys? Which is in the form of function. If you assign a specific value of x, you will get a specific value of the derivative. Which is interpreted as, interpreted as the derivative of, um, of the curve. I mean the slope of the tangent line at the point on the curve. Actually, this is a parabola. If you draw this parabola and then mm, you have you 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 take a specific point, so you will you can determine the slope from this formula for x minus one. Okay, guys. Malapit na tayo. Number three. Number three. F of x is equal to, and then I will be posting a lecture notes about this. So there are a lot of examples that I'm going, going to share with you. So you just go over with that. Negative is square root. Ay, square root na lang. Square root of, hindi na negative. Square root of, ano ba to? Hirap magsulat. Nangangawit na yung kamay ko. Uh, 3 minus 5x. Uh, what's the derivative? If you came from senior, a uh, senior high stem, you should know that the derivative is negative 5 over 2 is square root of 3 minus 5x. So that's how to get the derivative. By formula, we are not yet in that. no. So for the meantime, we apply four step rule. O anong gusto niya? Four step rule o four step rule naman? <coughs> Pero in, <coughs> still increment method to. Or replace y by y plus yung f of x yung y. Y plus delta y. And x by what? By x plus delta x. So x plus Delta x. Then, solve for delta y. Is square root of. Yung loob. Uh, magiging what? 3 minus 5. X plus delta x. Then, minus y. No? But what is y, guys? As usual, walang nasagot. Nag-dinner nag, nag, nag na sila. Habang naka-on yung computer nila. Patapos, pag nagbigay ng quiz, kung saan saan nagahagilap ng, 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 ng Google, saan magsasagot. Patapos, iba-iba na yung solution. Hindi na yung discuss. If your solution will not be the same with how we solve, Problems, I, I'm not going to check. Ibig sabihin, you did not listen, guys. Nag-Google lang kayo. So, yan. This is the delta y, no? Okay, guys? Then, the, after this, yan, ito yung first step. Yan. Ito yung second step. Ito yung third step. We divide delta y by what, guys? By delta x. So, divide natin yan. By delta x. O, copy na lang natin. Copy. Yan. Copy, paste. O, yan. Di divide daw natin ng delta x. So, we must have enough space to form a quotient. Yan. Divide by delta x. Ayaw sumulat. Di 
divide by delta x. But notice that there is no, no quantities that can be canceled with delta x here, no? Now, the technique so that you can cancel those terms with delta x, with the delta x here, yung delta x uh, na terms with the delta x here, you what? You rationalize the numerator. Instead of rationalizing the denominator here, it's opposite. Rationalize the numerator. So, we copy that. So, we rationalize na dito na lang. We multiply by the conjugate. Okay? Oh, copy is square root of yan, ay pang is square root of copy, no? 3 minus 5 5 x plus delta x yan, plus yung conjugate niya, no? Plus is square root of yan, 3 minus 5x. All over. Okay, same, no? Same, same sum to be multiplied in the denominator. Ayaw. Ungroup. Uh, copy ko yung numerator. Copy, paste. Ayan. So, what's now the result, guys? A minus B, A plus B form. Square the first, minus square of the second. Pero, yung ilalim, all over, yeah. all over this, no? Yeah. Copy-paste ulit. Yeah. This is now the numerator, denominator I mean. Pero, I want to change the color to white. The blue and white. Yan. White. O, yan. Guys, I hope is still alive, ha? Mumultiply this by delta x. Yan, delta x. Yung numerator, Again, A minus B, A plus B. So, what's the product? Square the first. Difference sum and product of difference and difference sum. So, or sum and difference. So, square the first. No, more radical, no? 3 minus 5 X plus delta X minus oh, square the second. 3 minus 5 X. Then, simplify. O, oh, dito ko na lang lalagay. Copy natang natin. Para, I find lazy to, to, to write again. Copy, paste. Yan. Yan. Pero, meron tayong i-delete. Delete. Ito, delete, delete natin. I-expand natin yan eh. Yeah. So, we have 3 minus 5x minus delta, 5 delta x, then minus 3 plus 5x. Okay, what is what are cancelled? Negative 5x against positive 5x. Negative 3 against positive 3. So, and we know. Ay, ko na nga tinanaman ang lalamunan ko. <coughs> Nako. And this is... Medyo mahaba, no? Yan, talagang ma-algebra to. Yan. Kaya ang calculus, naka, I tell you, maraming ayaw ng calculus because of this. So, we now have delta y over delta x that is equal now to what? To negative 5 delta x, no? Negative 5 delta x. Copy na lang natin din yan, itong denominator na lang. Together with the fraction, saan na copy? Ang fraction. 
Yan. Okay. And the numerator. So, negative 5 delta x. O, di tanggal ang delta x. Cancelled with this. So, finally, we now have limit, which is the derivative now. So, that is the derivative of y or f prime, no? f prime, that is the derivative of y if you want, is equal to the limit as delta x approaches 0 of this, no? But what is now the numerator? Wala nang delta x, pati itong delta x na to. Okay, guys? Yan. Yan. So, the numerator is negative 5. O, evaluate now the limit. So, limit of the denominator, so magiging, ang nag approach sa series in delta x, no? The first term in the denominator will be 3 minus 5. Delta x is approaching 0, negative 5x. Plus, oh, just copy the second term kasi wala naman delta x yan. Okay? O, oh, limit of the numerator, o, oh, negative 5. So, finally, what's the answer? Negative 5, negative 5, all over, all over what, guys? O, oh, paras lang yung ilal, ilalim na terms, no? Ito, tsaka ito. So, 2 is square root of um, 3 minus 5x. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's the derivative. Oh, any question, guys? Guys, oh, manageable na to get the derivative by increment method? Of course, hindi naman tayo lagi magaganyan. Pag nasa formulas na tayo, we're going to have the shortcut na. Because later, you will be given complicated naman na derivative. <coughs> okay? Oh, may question pa? Kung wala na, so we'll stop right here. And then, I will be posting, again, I will be posting some lecture notes that you have to read. And also, I will be continuing this, but in other sections na. Because the, the recording of this, we, they will be watching naman by other sections. Because I will not be teaching them by this online. After all this, the same thing I'm going to discuss. So they will just be watching this. I will be sharing this to them. And your, your section will be watching what I am going to discuss with them, okay? Which is the continuation of this. Is that clear, guys? Kaya marami kayo ngayon lectures every week that you are going to, to watch, ha? Huh? So, hindi, ka, hindi porket hindi tayo nag online kasi ang sakit sa lalamunan, same naman din. Ang didiscuss ko ay paulit-ulit in five, five sections, imagine? Yat yan. Kaya I will be having five lectures na ngayon mula ngayong week na to, starting this, this meeting. May Saturday pa ulit. Two meetings yun. Two classes. Kaya, you just watch there. You can join them if you want. Kung may kakilala kayo. Pwede kayo mag-join sa, sa online classes. If you are free. <coughs> oh, may question pa, guys? Guys? Okay, for your practice, I want you to... Uh, I will be posting, no? Oh, your your practice. Uh, uh, I will be trying to give you activity. Pero may yung, in yung short, I mean long quiz. Uh, I will be uh, posting that and you will be having only 2 hours to answer and I will be giving you mga 30 minutes to upload. So mga 2 and a half hours. I will be giving you time where to to, to answer that, no? So, let's say, answer this on this particular day, and then you submit on that day also. Uh, and on that time, halimbawa, 3 to, to 7, 3 to, to uh, let's say, 
3 to 6.30, you, have, you must be able to finish within that time and then upload also. Okay? So that's for the quiz. Okay, guys. Combination of multiple choice and solving. Uh, be ready with your scanner, your, your gadget, na things that you need for submission. Okay, bye guys. So, see you next meeting. You, you wait for the recordings of other sections uh, that I'm going to share with you, a continuation of this.